what's going on everyone my name is roscoe and we are back so today i have a lot of yeezy news looks like those 700 v2 creams are gonna be dropping very very soon we got a release date set on the kyanite 700 v3 we're gonna see the release of the yeezy 450 apparently there's a new redesigned yeezy 350 v2 and I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that sneaker as well. Before we dive into it all, I have to recap what went down over the weekend for the release of the Ash Blue in the Ash Stone 350 V2s. We also saw the release of the Jordan 4 Topaz and the Nike Ready Made Blazers. But man, the first drop happened at 7 a.m. And I don't think it finished till about 11.30, 12. So that was a good five hour long stream appreciate everybody that tuned in for the whole entire but like i stated in my how to cop video your best chance at copying the yeezy sneakers was waking up super early in the morning all the foot sites dropped them at 7 a.m est there's just less competition at that time and the most w's i seen in the chat came from the foot site especially jd sports and finish line they continue to be the best places to cop for manual users i didn't see too many people hit on foot locker champs and foot action and also we saw the yeezy supply drop happen at 9 a.m and that was where you were able to get the ash stone pair caught a lot of people by surprise but i stated that all week that they were dropping the Ash Stone pair. Even though it's an EU exclusive, that was gonna be the only place to get them if you live here in the US. However, though, they were crazy limited. I know a few people did hit in the chat. Me, however, I took an L, but they're nice, man. Congrats to everybody that did hit on these Ash Blue and the Ash Stone pair, and I like them. I think this is a really nice colorway. I think once people get their pairs in hand, they will probably decide to keep them. This is a nice blue, has that pop of yellow. I mean, I'm looking up um, StockX, small sizes are above 300. I do expect that number to come down once people get their pairs in. They ain't no brick. These are actually doing surprisingly very well. And if you did hit on the Ash Stone pair, those are doing a little bit better. If you ask me if this is a hold or a sell, I think 350 V2s, you might as well just sell if you don't want them. These could end up being one of the better colorways, but we won't know till the end of the year. So if you're going to hold them, you got to hold them for six months plus. They're not doing bad. I like them. I think these are clean. So congrats to anybody that did hit. There was also two other shoes, ready-made blazers and the Jordan 4 Tote. I think it was the seeker of the weekend by far. Even me, for a Yeezy fan. I had to grab a pair. They're earth tone, they're brown, they're they're just so cool. But what surprised me about this one is that a lot of people did hit. I thought we were gonna see a lot of angry rants in the chat. Felt like a lot of people were able to secure a pair. I think there a lot of people hit on sneakers app. Thought some people hit on the foot sites, on Hibbit. These are pretty good, man. Congrats to anybody that did hit. I think the number on them right now is about 350. I do think the number is gonna come down a little bit, but I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna hold them as well because I think people are gonna end up thinking, you know this is the best jordan 4 of 2021 i think this shoe also has a good upside to it grass anybody that hit and then of course the nike ready-made blazers i saw some people hit but that was definitely the most limited sneaker and they're going for a lot of money that is the weekend recap let me know down in the comments if you were able to secure anything all right now let's get into some yeezy news this definitely caught a lot of people by surprise but it looks like the yeezy 700 v2 creams are gonna be dropping very soon. Now, the rumored release date is March 13th. The retail price for this sneaker is gonna be $240. So they have reduced the retail price across the board on all 700. Good thing it's more money in our pockets that we're saving, but bad thing is, is that the shoe definitely has way more upside, and I can see all the botters and the resellers going for this shoe it's a great looking sneaker it kind of looks very similar if not identical to the 2018 700 v2 static one of my favorite yeezy sneakers that i own only difference between this one and the cream pair is that the cream pair is just gonna have cream on the leather here on the side and also here on the toe box in the sidings these 700 v2 creams will be dropping on saturday march 13th if you're really interested in the shoe right now 
I mean, they have them already for sale on go. I don't know if that means stock is gonna be high. We got creams. Creams are coming very soon. All right, now let's go over the Kynite 700 V3s because we got a little bit of an update. This shoe was supposed to release in February, but the shoe just kept getting pushed and moved around. I think they finally settled on a release date and that is gonna be March 27th. Fortunately, it's not gonna be the best sneaker of the month just because March is completely stacked. Now, it's not an overpowering colorway, but I feel like it's just right. But one thing I didn't notice that there's a little bit of a green in there from the close-up images from the shoe that just released. I think these look incredible on feet. Now it does glow in the dark, all 700 V3s glow, and it's definitely gonna sell out. Now the retail price is only $200, but what I'm hearing that these will be a little bit more widely available. So I do think they know it's a good colorway. You can already get early pairs on GOAT. I think they're only going for like $350, $400, so not too much. I think they'll sell out. I'm super excited. I think the 700 V3s is a great silhouette. I do really like the Safflowers and the Alvis. March overall is looking very stacked. This week, we have the 450s dropping. Creams, 700 V2s, March 13th. Week after that, we have the Yeezy 380 Kovalite. OG Quantum Basketball is going to be dropping this month. And then you also have Foam Runner. We'll have to wait and find out for YM Direct. That is Yeezy Mafia. He's doing a whole live stream. But I'm hearing he's going to drop some more info on the Foam Runners and possibly give us some more details on some Yeezy sneakers that no one knows about. Ash Pearl 350 V2s are supposed to drop in March 2s. March is just completely stack all right now let's update you guys on these yeezy 450 honestly this is just crazy to think about because i had this sneaker on my list for most anticipated sneaker for 2020 didn't release so i put it back again in 2021 now we're within a week of the release i mean these right now are still scheduled to be dropping this upcoming Saturday for a retail price of $200. Can this sneaker still shock drop this week? I wouldn't leave that option out right now. There's a lot of good shoes dropping this week. Feel like, hey, if they wanna take the headlines, they might shock drop them. We got good looks of the shoe, some on feet images. We got Bella Hadid. She's got her pair. She was wearing a pair out in NYC and they look good. I mean, to me, when I saw them, kind of has like more of a high-end fashion vibe to it. Now, as far as comfort is concerned, I'm hearing it's very similar to the 700 V3. Now, stock number. I'm hearing stock is also pretty good on the 450s. Not super, super limited like we first expected, but I don't expect it to be massive GR. Dropping worldwide, so everyone out there will have a chance at getting the 450. But it's still scheduled to be dropping this upcoming Saturday, I think we're gonna get more release information in a couple days. There you go, a little bit of an update on those Yeezy 450s. Now let's talk about some leaks because apparently we have a new redesigned 350 V2. These are the images I did see a while ago. Now I did state in the past that I thought these would be 350 V3s just because of how different they are. But apparently they're not. They're just kind of keeping it as 350 V2 and it's just totally redesigned. It just felt like the 350 V2 was lacking and it was kind of falling behind in the lineup for Yeezy sneakers. More futuristic. You have quantum basketball sneakers. You have 380s, you have 700 V3s. So it's kind of all transitioning to this more futuristic approach. And it kind of feels like now the 350 V2 is falling behind. And now it certainly does because these look straight out of a sci-fi movie. Again, I would hold judgment because we really haven't seen good, clear images of the shoe. You know, I always have to see them in hand or see them on feet to really get a good sense of them, but I'm all for it, man. I'm just curious of this material that they used on the upper. Is it as stretchy or is it different from the prime knit that we get already on the V2s? Total see-through 350 V2, and you can see the cage, and the cage is all cut in circles, and it just looks like, again, straight out of a sci-fi movie. Again, we'll have to wait and see when more better images come out. But it looks like the 350 V2 is getting a change. Let me know what you guys think of these redesigned 350 V2s down in the comments. That is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video.